Hello, and welcome to another EPCON training video. Today we'll be covering how easy it is to analyze the results of your fluid flow model using Cynet 9 powered by the Process Innovator. Let's get started. In design mode, notice that the Analyze button at the bottom left-hand side of the screen is currently disabled. This occurs because in order to use the Analyze feature, we must first simulate the model. Once we have simulated the model, notice that the Analyze button is now enabled. Clicking on the Analyze button, we see that the pipes have changed color and various nodes have been highlighted. We also see percentages along the nodes and pipes. On the left-hand screen, a new pane appears that has radio buttons as well as minimum and maximum values. The percentages along the canvas indicate what percentage of design the results are. For example, if we click on the second pipe in the model, we see that the design velocity is 6 feet per second. If we look in the results section, we see that the actual velocity through the pipe is 5.942 feet per second. Therefore, the percent of design is approximately 99% because the result velocity is 99% of the design velocity. Going back to the left-hand pane, notice the range of percentages that is given by default. Take the pipe velocity, for example. The maximum percentage is 150% and the minimum percentage is 50%. This means that any pipe velocity that is below 50% of design will be highlighted in purple, while any pipe velocity that is above 150% of design will be highlighted in red. Currently, all of the pipes are black, indicating that they are within the range of 50 to 150% of design. Watch what happens when I change the minimum percentage of design to 75%. Now, pipe 1 is highlighted in purple, while the rest of the pipes remain black. This occurs because pipe 1 is under 75%, which is now the minimum percentage of design allowed. Now, the Analyze feature was created to help us analyze and optimize our systems. Notice that as I look on the canvas, the flow meter is far above its maximum percentage of design, while the control valve is just below its minimum percentage of design. Let's optimize the system so that both components are getting a pressure drop that is within the allowable percentage of design. Since the flow meter has an unusually high percentage of design, let's try increasing the bore diameter. Click back on design mode, Select the flow meter, and let's change the bore diameter to 4 inches instead of 3 inches. Simulate, analyze. Notice now that by changing the bore diameter, the control valve is now within the allowable range of design. However, the flow meter is now less than the minimum percentage of design. To get the appropriate size of the flow meter, let's utilize the flow meter sizing program. To do this, first click on the flow meter and then open the sizing program. Notice that if the flow meter is selected, then all of the available information from that flow meter gets populated into the sizing program. Click Calculate. And now we see that the exact bore diameter needed for this system is approximately 3.518 inches. Going back to Cynet, let's now change the diameter to 3.5 inches. Simulate the model. Analyze. And now notice that all of the results are within the desired parameters. Cynet 9, powered by the all-new Process Innovator, makes it easy to analyze and optimize your fluid flow systems.